teachers love to use the speed grader with the Canvas Teacher app on their iPad. And most teachers, when they open up the app, will tap on their to-do list to get to anything that needs grading. I do wanna show a couple other ways to get to that stuff and on one little trick in your grade book to excuse students. Tap on your course, know that you have to tap pages to see your homepage, but if students were using the app, they would just see the homepage. You'll notice that you don't see the grades as an option in your course navigation when you're in the app. But if you go to your assignments, you're actually gonna see the submissions section and you can tap any of these things to get to those assignments. If you tap the arrow here, you will pull up all of your students and this is essentially seeing your grade book. You will see any of their scores that might be in there as well. Um, if you did need to filter this list to help you narrow it down, you can filter. If I go into one of these that it needs grading, you're going to see the student work and then you can use these annotation tools to mark up the document and write some things. Now, if I wanna give the student a grade, I can just toggle that grade on but if I want to excuse it, I can tap this score, this seven out of 10, and I can pull up the customized grade window, which is where I could excuse the student if I wanted to. If you are using a rubric and if you press and hold on any of these numbers, it will tell you what that rubric means. And you can also view the rubric long descriptions. If you go to comments, you can leave video feedback by tapping the plus sign and recording audio or video here. And if you are using your Apple Pencil, you can actually handwrite comments right inside of this box and it will turn it into text. And you would just hit the green send button to send that comment on. If a student had submitted more than one file, you just tap on files to see all of them. If you tap the student's name in the upper left-hand corner, this is where you can see all of the submissions for that student in your course. And if you need to message the student, you can do that from here as well.